we got to talk about it. we got to talk about this thing, man. Zack Snyder's Justice League. Restore the Snyderverse. Look, bro. It's over. It pains me to say it, but it's over. When Zack Snyder was talking about this movie, this guy is divulging what was going to happen. What happened during this movie, the, like the um, extra scenes added, the reshoots, the ending, the prologue, you know, the epilogue, everything. And what he's going to do, which, who does this? He told, he basically tells in detail what was going to happen in the next three movies. Who does that if there's going to be another movie? That's crazy. It's madness. It's madness. Like, um, he was saying, right, like, even in this movie, he wanted to make Superman, like, when he was, he, he wasn't able to gain his senses, right? He wanted to articulate in a short period of time that if he was, but he, if he did go bad, nobody's safe. Nobody's safe, right? That's why um, one of the scenes where you saw Flash in the Speed Force, right? And then Superman, because, um, you know, that's the stats, Flash's safe place. He's safe there. No one could touch him. That's his own world, right? Superman, <laughs> the uninvited intruder. When Flash is in the Speed Force, like, all you see is Superman just look at him. When he's in the speed force, Flash's like, oh, what? You can see me? And Superman's like, yeah, I see you. There you are. What do you mean? What? And then that's the terror on Flash's face. It's like, oh, shit. What is happening? And, and Superman's like, yeah, I see you. What's this place? What do you mean? All right, no problem. Moving a little bit weird. I'll fight you in here. No problem. Bro. Bro. This character, man. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. So, I think that they managed to articulate very well. In a short period of time. The danger. Superman. Would impose. Had he. Completely lost himself. Nobody's safe. Right. So it's just that getting his perspective on certain scenes and the meaning of certain things in the film. You know, um, it was there was even a part where the studio, yeah, they didn't want um, they didn't want the to Zack Snyder to show the impending arrival of Darkseid in the movie, right? But he did it anyway. They didn't want that in the movie. And as far as, they, as far as they were aware, it wasn't in the movie. But he was like, yeah, okay. You don't want me to put Dark Side in the movie? All right. No problem. When he gets back to his people and editing and writers, do that. Put Dark Side in the movie. Right. So it just showed you the, the pushback that Zack Snyder had to implement in order to get this movie... The way we wanted it to be. It's crazy. Even to the point where in the ending. Where you saw. The man, um, Martian Manhunter. That was actually supposed to be. John Stewart. The Green Lantern bro. That's mad. But the executives made him cut it. Right. And Zack Snyder was actually going to quit. The whole project. Because of that, he's like, there's no way I'm cutting out Jon Stewart. No way. No way. Look. Give me something. Give me something or else I'll walk. Yeah. Let me put in um, Martian Manhunter. That's the Easter egg, you know, potential Easter egg that I've had in there since Man of Steel. Let me realise that. You ain't going to take Jon Stewart away from me. And I can't put nothing in its place. So it was kind of like a, you know, give and take 
situation, negotiation, and he managed to get Martian Manhunter put in his place. But that's crazy. The fact that that was supposed to be Jon Stewart? Green Lantern? Bro, I do not understand um, the decision-making from um, Warner Brothers Studios. Really don't understand it. You know, and then even um, the fact that Henry Cadville, he's gone. Like, there's no ch no chance of Hen Henry Cadville coming back as Superman. No chance. He's out of here. Which is a shame because it's perfect casting. Henry Cadville as Superman is the most perfect casting you can hope for. So, the fact that he's, he's out of here. Oh... It's unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate because that is gonna, he is a gonna be a hard Superman to um, overcome. A hard thing. I do not envy the next director or Warner Brothers at all. DC trying to come up with a new Superman. I'm sad about that. Gutted, but. Look, it is what it is, man. And we'll see what happens, man. You know. Uh, but then also, Zack Snyder did say that in the next film, Earth would have fallen to Darkseid. When Darkseid comes, Darkseid would have won. And the anti-life equation, yeah, would have been activated. And then um, Superman would have become the main villain of... The whole um, of that of the of the next film, and the timeline would have been rewound by Flash, and a Batman would have had to sacrifice himself, and a Superman would become would come back to becoming a, a good guy, and then he would become the new head of the Justice League. And what was it? There was another part as well. It was. Superman and Lois, Cal and Lois were going to have a son. And the son was going to be the new Batman. He, he wasn't going to have any powers. He wasn't going to have Superman's powers or anything like that. But he was going to become the new Batman. Crazy. Crazy, bro. And he was planning to do all of this in his films. And we're never going to get to see it. That is just a piss take. That is an absolute killer, bro. Think about seeing that. Oh, man. And then not only that, Warner Brothers have said they're going to, they're not going to do the um, New Gods movie. They were planning on doing a New Gods movie, but they're no longer doing it. I don't get it, bro. I'm perplexed by it. Dude, you have an opportunity to start something brand new with the new gods. And it makes sense. And they ain't taking it. What was that? What was their excuse again? Oh yeah, Zack Snyder um snuck in Dark Side. And that's ruined all of our plans. Man, get out of here, bro. Don't lie, dude. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. But don't lie and try to blame it on Zack Snyder putting in um, Dark Side to please us. Because, because the fact that we wanted it, as Zack Snyder gave it to us, makes it our fault that you're not going to do the new gods or expand that universe anymore. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. It's a lie. Because they've already established the multiverse. They've already said that there's alternate timelines. Batman, the new Batman that's coming, is set on Earth 2. It's a different reality to this current Batman. You have got Joker um, that was in Zack Snyder's Justice League. That was in Suicide Squad. Uh, he was, in, was he in another movie? I think he was in... Was he in Birds of Prey? I can't remember. I don't know. I think he was in Birds of Prey. I don't remember that movie. Not a very good movie. Don't remember it. But yeah, whatever. 
Yeah, you had that Joker, but then also you had the Joker movie, which is in a different reality as well. And then you've got the Flash movie that's coming out. And wait a second, doesn't that movie supposed to have Michael Keaton's Batman and Ben Affleck's Batman? And then haven't you done the one where the Flash from Justice League, Zack Snyder Justice League, was in the TV, the CW TV show with the Flash? So you do have a multiverse. Where multiple worlds and different type of characters from different timelines and realities can have their movies out at the same time. And you've explained it. But you're saying we can't do the new gods because Zack Snyder put in um, Dark Side. And we don't want to have another Dark Side so close to don't wind me up. Don't wind me up because I know you're lying. And that's the one thing that pisses me off is liars. Because I don't want to invest with, I invest in liars or support liars or deceitful. So wind your neck in, close your mouth and give us the real reason that you don't want to do the new gods. You have got a plethora of work and of godlike work that you can just bring to fruition. Incredible amount of heroes, the new gods. Because you've already established in Zack Snyder's movie, the old gods are dead. You've established that already. So what are you doing? Because how it works is the old gods are dead. And then their power gets, um, it doesn't just disappear. It gets filtered off into the world, into reality. And different people throughout the whole world and universe inherit the powers of the old gods. Right? And that's what the new gods are. Right? But um, I don't want to confuse it for someone like, as I said, Diana. Diana's not an old god. Even though her dad is an old god. Yeah? She didn't get her power. Um, she didn't exist as an old god. But she has, she's the daughter of one. Yeah, so she is just herself. She is a evolution, a hybrid, right? So she is herself. She hasn't inherited her powers. Well, I guess you can say from her dad, but you know, as in father daughter, but she's not an old god where the power was inherited to her from the old gods in that sense, right? So it's just. I don't know, man. I don't understand the decision making with their characters because they've got so much they can do with the DC universe and all their characters. Because I just feel like when it comes to DC, they just rely way too much on Batman. Way too much. He was in Suicide Squad. He's in the Flash movie. He's in all the Justice League movies. Whatever they can put in Superman or Batman, they're gonna especially Batman. They're gonna put in Batman. Come on, bro. You got so many characters. You got bloody as you say. We we saw before. We got the Ma Martian Manhunter. We got Satana. We got um Lobo. We've got um Hawkman. We've got um. We got. There's so many characters, man. You know, Black Canary. There's so many characters you can do and make a movie out of. Like a good movie. Why not like a Poison Ivy movie? That could be good. What about a Raven movie? That could be good. What about... Well, that's kind of like Batman, but not really. Let's just say it. Nightwing. Right? There's so many characters... That you could do a movie with. In your world. You just need to have. The, the right director to do it. And then they're just pissing about man. They took a chance. With Aquaman. Something different. They didn't really take it too seriously. You know what. Do Aquaman. We've made enough money from the Batman movies. That we could do a nice little project with Aquaman. Do whatever you want. We're not going to put in a Superman. We're not going to put in a Batman. We're not going to put in any of the other um, well-known he heroes. That we feel we need to support the franchise. That it could do without. If the movie doesn't do too well. Then at least we'll know that's a lesson learned. 
movie does a billion dollars. That just shows you people want change. People want something different. Look at Jason Momoa, man. He's a, like a different type of... He's not the archetype of hero that you... That they have um, saturated the superhero world with. He's got a completely different look, a completely different mannerism. And people like that. I fucking loved it, right? And that just shows you that people... Well, look at Wonder Woman, bro. Wonder Woman... No Superman, no Batman, just Wonder Woman. The movie did fantastic. So it just goes to show, if you just do a bloody good film, bro. People watch it. People like it. You don't have to put Batman in every single movie or a cameo of Batman in every single movie. It's all about the writing and the direction and the filmography, the cinematography. That's what the most important thing that matters. Director, top of the list. That gets it. You know, so, yeah. You know, I just really wanted to talk about that. I was unfortunate. I feel like the Snyderverse is dead, man. It's over for the Snyderverse. That's, how, that's genuinely how I feel. Right, there's no way Ray Fisher is getting employed by uh, Warner again. No chance of that. There is no chance of Henry Cavill getting employed to be Superman again. That's dead in the water. No chance of that. Ben Affleck, he's done. Unless Zack Snyder's involved, he's done. He's not going to work as a Batman without Zack Snyder. Right, without Zach or Zack Snyder's blessing. Right. He's doing the Flash movie. He's gonna be in a Flash movie, but that was already agreed upon before any of this bullshit happened. That's been in the works for a super hot minute. Right? And Zack Snyder is on board with that. He's about that. Yeah, so that is an exception. Right? But after that, Ben Affleck, not happening. So it's just unfortunate, bro, like, that all these, that the world is going to separate. And Wonder Woman, the way I see it, Wonder Woman is finished. Wonder Woman is finished. Like, you see the direction that they're taking Wonder Woman in, it's over for that franchise. When I saw the way that they did the um, Wonder Woman 1984, I mean, as I said before, look, it's a good movie. It's a good movie as a Wonder Woman movie. It was complete garbage, right? But as a movie movie, yeah, it's good. It's a good movie. It's decent, right? And as I said, my review for Wonder Woman, if I look at it as a Wonder Woman movie, I'll hate that movie. That movie will literally get a 3 out of 10, if even that. But if I analyse it as a movie, yeah, I can give it the rating that I gave it. Not a problem. You know, as I, as I warrant it as a movie. So they just need to, they need to reassess and look at the director, not get too complacent and drunk of their own success. Because it's the directors that make the movies. It's, um, I, I can't remember his name, so I don't want to say it. Who did Aquaman? James Wan. I feel like I've just made a mistake, but I also feel like I've said the right thing. Correct me if I'm wrong. Right. James Wan, I want to say it. I'm sorry if I've said if I've said his name wrong. Right. That's the boy. He gets it. Zack Snyder, that's the boy. He gets it. It all comes from good directors that love the material and are visionaries. And you can't just give it to everybody and anyone. I know the guy that did it is working on uh, the Flash movie and I feel like he gets it yeah but we'll see so yeah warriors that was just me talking about um justice league the future of the dc universe what i think is coming to an end um where their mistakes are and what's going on i want to hear your thoughts so warriors i'm gonna say thank you take care stay blessed and i'll see you in the comment section laters